OK, um, 3A, we've got sketch two graphs. The first one is a standard graph that you need to know. Of course, a graphical calculator can help a lot on this question. Um, but assuming you haven't got a graphical calculator, um, and because you want to understand anyway, um, learn this as a standard graph. The second one um, you can do in a couple of ways. You can either think we've got a 2, we've got a 4, so we're multiplying by 2 and we're subtracting 4, and we're doing both of those things inside. So you can use the sequence of transformations of the original graph. Um, do that with caution. Uh, because the uh, stretch does affect um, the point of the V. Uh, the other way to do it is to think about the y-intercept of this graph and where the point of the V is. And if you get both of those two things, and you know that it's a V or an upside-down V, because it's a modulus graph of a linear function, then that can be a good way to get these um, kind of V-shaped graphs. Point of the V, y-intercept. And then, part B does not say, hence, um, but because you've sketched both of these graphs and you've done it on the same set of axes, you've already visualized what um, whereabouts on the graph the solutions are going to be. And remember, in any modulus equation, um, the modulus either might have an effect or might not have an effect. So this might really be an x or it right, might really be a minus x. This might really be what's inside the modulus or it might be the minus of it. So that's what enables you to um, generate the equations you should solve. And if you actually relate that to the graph, if you have any graph that's a modulus shape, then you, it has two separate equations. This side has got y equals one thing. The other side has got y equals something else. Obviously, these are where the modulus is either having an effect or not having an effect. Um, and so you can actually write down the equation of each branch and just solve suitable linear equations. So this you need to turn into um, some equations where you've got something uh, equals something else, and each of these is either what's inside the modulus, or it, take, it takes account of the effect that the modulus might have. Okay, and you've got examples in your notes, so use them.